You get an automobile for 24-7 access? Yes, correct. And your deputy does as well? Yes. Okay. And the town policy has you having access to that to go wherever 24-7 uh, because we expect you to be available 24-7. Correct. Right. And so if you're on detail out of town, then you're not available. No. Right. You're inaccurate. So you're going to run away from the detail and you're going to come into town? It's happened. So that will happen. That will occur. We had a, we were up at UNH. I, mean, I don't need an example. I just want to know well, no, that, you that, will occur. that will occur, right? It has happened. I'd like to hear the example. We were up at a uh, concert up at the Whittemore Center back last spring, and we had an incident occur where we believed we were going to have an activation of the tactical team, which I also serve as president of. A number of the officers there were part of the team, were on the detail. I let the captain know at UNH that I had an incident occurring, that I had to relieve the several officers to return. And then I shortly after I felt it was safe there that they had adequate staffing there, I left and came back and handled the incident. So that has occurred. So there was a delay in getting back while you're waiting for staff to Well, it's a, bit, it's a bit of a drive from Durham here, yeah, but that was a delay. Well, that's the reason why we give you car 24-7, so that there will be no delay in you getting transportation to so get I, where I you guess him, I guess him. That's well, my understanding of why you have the 24-7 car. Well, if you use your model, then I apparently... Not I, my model. I think that's a selectman from years ago decided mm -hmm. the chief and the deputy chief need a car because they have to be on call and, and on scene, lickety-split when we need them. That was, that was the reason so why. How do we handle it, Tim, when I'm out of town on personal business? Am I now restricted to the boundaries of the town of Hampton? No, I think that okay. vacation time and sick time is, is implicitly excluded from that. Training? Training, of course, is part of your okay. function, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. So you but need... deriving income from a secondary source, I don't think that is implicit. No, mutual aid, helping out. Well, mutual aid is mutual different. Mutual aid than is than not than private than... details, Brian. Okay. Sonny? I've got a couple of Sorry, am I, am I confused on this? Wait one second. I think on a when I say, look, at, I'm okay with I'm okay with the chief doing police details. Mm -hmm. I'm okay with the deputy chief doing police details, as long as they are like still available to be on scene like they split. So I don't expect the chief to go do a police detail in Las Vegas, for example. I have two. Well, that doesn't get you on scene. That's no, but most of the things I do, okay. The phone does not get you on scene. No, it doesn't, Tim. I agree with you. Okay, but a lot of what I do is this, okay? I could be in Epping, we've been called out five times by the tactical team in the last eight weeks, okay? So I'm all over the place, frequently, okay? We still have the town of Hampton to protect, okay? So would, would you advocate that we cancel mutual aid with other communities? and that we don't be part of the Seacoast Emergency Response Team, because that's kind of where you're going with it. No, it is not. I said, I I, like I, I, no, I said deriving income from a secondary source. You do not derive income uh, from a mutual aid activity. Okay. Right. So I wasn't referring to that at all. Well, I consider the details also mutual aid because... Well, they're not. Well, I, I think the chiefs of police would disagree. If they, if they were mutual aid, then you wouldn't be deriving any income from the activity. Not That's not true. Private details are private details. Tim, you're missing the point. You're, you're so missing the point. So so when... When, when we call on the Seacoast Emergency... When I have a private party... Am I going to be allowed to speak? When I have a private we, party... Apparently not. When, when I have a private party and I and I hire a, a police detail, okay, is that mutual aid? That policeman that shows up to my house at my party, is, is he performing mutual aid? I think that's a question. That is, that, that's a question that's not even worthy of a response to. You know right, because it's that. a private detail. Private detail and mutual aid are not the same thing. They're not interchangeable. Oh, and sometimes they are. Please explain. University of New Hampshire, when they have a major event, or when the town of Hampton has a major event, and we can't fulfill what we need to provide for public safety, okay, I can't extend a private detail to an entity I don't have mutual aid with. So how you can sit there and claim that isn't the fact flies in the face of the law. I can't extend a private detail to a police agency that I don't have mutual aid with. So how you can sit there and say that they're not somehow related is just beyond my comprehension. I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't say there's not a relationship between the entities. I think you did. I said there's not a relationship between the two activities. Mutual aid is an activity. 
that's taking place at our expense because we, in fact, when we go help out Seabrook, mm -hmm. right? But we don't send a bill to Seabrook because we also know that they'll come and help us out and they won't send a bill to us. That's mutual aid, right? Yeah. But it's also in those circumstances where details have to be paid. Yeah. Because I cannot, I cannot invite in Seabrook PD to work an event in Hampton or the University of New Hampshire unless I have a mutual aid with them. So but those to, to private, try to claim they're mutually exclusive is inaccurate. The activity itself is either a private detail or it's mutual aid, right? No, sometimes it's one and the same. Can we move I'll this give you both. Yeah. Give you both. Oh. 